China's latest super engineering marvels and innovations are reshaping the future. In this video, we explore the country's groundbreaking achievements from space simulation infrastructure to record-setting ultra-deep drilling, laser communication for satellites and clean energy initiatives. Discover how these advances are driving progress in space exploration, energy transition, and scientific research. China has made significant strides in its space research capabilities with the completion of its first homegrown space environment simulation and research infrastructure. Located in Harbin, Heilongjiang Province, this state-of-the-art facility is the nation's first large-scale space science and technology experimental platform. It was developed in collaboration between the Harbin Institute of Technology and the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. This facility can replicate nine crucial elements of the space environment, such as plasma, particle irradiation, and solar electromagnetic radiation. These capabilities are essential for studying space materials, devices, and magnetospheric physics. In a groundbreaking development for satellite communication, China has deployed its first laser communication ground station on the Pamir Plateau in Xinjiang. Unlike traditional microwave-based stations, this new system leverages a 500mm caliber antenna for laser-based satellite-to-ground data transfer, a technology offering immense advantages. Developed by the Aerospace Information Research Institute of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the station boasts bandwidth capabilities that are between 10 to 1,000 times wider than microwave systems. This increase in data bandwidth is expected to revolutionize how China handles vast amounts of satellite data, particularly for applications like remote sensing and scientific missions. China has set a new benchmark in scientific drilling with the Shindi Ta Ku One Well, an ultra-deep borehole located in the Taklamakan Desert in Xinjiang. As the first borehole in China designed to reach a depth of over 10,000 meters, it has currently been drilled to 9,900 meters, setting a record as Asia's deepest well. This ambitious project, which aims to reach 11,100 meters, is crucial for exploring the country's rich geological and resource potential. The Darim Basin, where the well is located, holds significant reserves of ultra-deep oil and gas, accounting for more than half of China's ultra-deep resource deposits. Scientists have already retrieved over 50 rock samples from ancient formations deep within the well, providing invaluable insights into the Earth's geological history and potential energy reserves. The success of this project could unlock a new era of ultra-deep resource extraction, with the well potentially opening the oil and gas treasure house, buried 10,000 meters beneath the surface. China's innovative Linglong-1, the world's first commercial small modular reactor, has reached a critical milestone by installing the generator stator, an essential part of its steam turbine generator set. Located in Hainan province, this multi-purpose reactor is a pioneering project for the nuclear industry. Unlike traditional nuclear reactors, Linglong-1 is significantly smaller, using a modular design to generate more electricity with less nuclear fuel. The reactor measures just one-tenth the size of a conventional reactor, but its advanced technology allows for highly efficient energy production. The stator, weighing over 130 tons and measuring approximately 6 meters in length, is a core component that will enable the reactor to generate electricity. The reactor's compact, simplified system is ideal for decentralized energy production, offering a scalable and adaptable solution for regions with varying energy needs. The Redstone Concentrated Solar Thermal Power Project, located in South Africa, represents a major collaboration between China and South Africa in the renewable energy sector. The 100-megawatt solar power facility is one of the largest renewable energy investments in South Africa and a critical component of the country's transition to low-carbon energy.
The project aims to significantly reduce carbon emissions by harnessing solar thermal energy, a clean and renewable power source. Engineers from both China and South Africa, including Chinese chief engineer Xie Yanjun and local expert Clayton Michael Rod, are working together to ensure the plant's safe operation. They are conducting critical chemical water commissioning tests to prepare the plant for full operation. By sharing its expertise in green technology, China is playing a pivotal role in promoting sustainable development in South Africa. Ningxia, a key region in China's West to East power transmission program, is at the forefront of the country's green energy revolution. Historically reliant on coal power, Ningxia has embraced its abundant wind and solar resources to become a hub for clean energy production. Over the past few years, the installed capacity for renewable energy in the region has overtaken that of coal power, symbolizing China's transition to a low-carbon economy. The clean energy produced in Ningxia is transmitted to eastern China, where energy demand is high, helping to reduce the nation's reliance on fossil fuels. This transformation is part of China's broader strategy to combat climate change, reduce emissions, and ensure a sustainable energy future. The development of renewable energy infrastructure in Ningxia also serves as a model for other regions looking to transition from traditional energy sources to cleaner alternatives. Chinese scientists have achieved a remarkable feat by drilling to a depth of 750 meters on the Qinghai Zizing Plateau, marking a new record for scientific exploration in the region. The drilling is part of a comprehensive expedition aimed at studying the plateau's geological history, climate, and ecology. Led by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the project focuses on the Lunpula Basin, which is rich in Cenozoic strata that date back 55 million years. This region holds key insights into the tectonic features and environmental evolution of the plateau. The drilling project is particularly challenging due to the harsh conditions at high altitudes, with an average elevation of 4,600 meters. In an innovative effort to combat desertification and promote renewable energy, China is developing large-scale photovoltaic projects in the Ulaanbaatar Desert, the country's eighth-largest desert. These PV projects not only generate clean energy but also play a key role in ecological restoration. The solar panels are strategically positioned at least 1.8 meters above the ground and spaced 12 meters apart allowing ample sunlight to reach the ground beneath, where vegetation can grow. This combination of solar energy production and ecological restoration is reshaping the desert landscape. The project is part of Inner Mongolia's broader initiative to integrate sand management with new energy development. By restoring approximately 153,333 hectares of decertified land and adding 27 million kilowatts of new energy capacity, the region is contributing significantly to China's environmental goals. <music>